crocodiles have you for lunch. You hear me? You listen to me now. Cheetah, watch your language. Whatever he says, I'm sure he's right. Cheetah! Joseph. I scared the hell out of you, didn't I? Come on, I need it. Nothing scares Tarzan. Listen to this one. Nothing scares Tarzan. I can't stay long. I've got to open up this door. Just thought I'd drop off a couple of books. You're going to like the Kipling. And the Stay Vincent is terrific. Thank you, Joseph. Hey, why don't you come for dinner tonight? Plantains are gratin. Yeah? Hmm? Bring cheetah. I'll bring a fish. Hey, you take these back to the treehouse. And stay out of trouble.
No, Carla! No. Mama! Like it? It is my favorite good, one. Good, good. Thank nice. you. Thank you. I wait for this Look, a long time. I'm back again soon. Here, yeah? I'm, I'm back tomorrow. It. Plantains, ah. eh? <laughs> Joseph, you're early. They killed Carla and took Tita. I think to New York. What? Who? I don't know. I found this. Bit noir. I must find Cheetah and punish Carlos killers. How do I get there? How do I get to New York? New York. Forget it. This must be done with or without your help. New York. New York! Passport. Ticket. I don't know how far they'll get you, but it's the best I could find on such short notice. Thank you, Joseph. You got any money? Oh, I have something better than money. Well, like the song says, give my regards to Broadway. You can still change your mind. No. I must go, Joseph. Okay. But remember, you're going to be up against something stronger than poison toads, more cunning than killer snakes and fiercer than Simba the Lion. What is that? New Yorkers. New Yorkers. This is as far as I can go. I didn't want to break this to you before, but you can't take the knife. But won't I need it against the New Yorkers, Joseph? Yes, but they won't let you take it on the plane. Bye, Joseph. Now don't you go and get civilized on me.
passengers who have connected from Africa and Atlanta should proceed to the immigration desk. Poor cheetah. Next. I mean you, mister. Passport, please. No problem. Problem. Where are you taking me? We're thinking of the plaza.
Came through New York, that's a new one. Where to? Here. The Bet Noir? They, uh, they have a, a dress code. Well, what does that mean? Serious? Sometimes, but my friend Joseph told me that I have a sense of humor. I like a man with a sense of humor. So, um, so what do you do? Circus? Acting? Politics? I don't do anything, I just am. Philosopher. We're off to Le Bet Noir, Plato. Tarzan. What about this dress code? They won't let you in without a jacket and tie. Speaking of which, and uh, I don't like to get personal, but uh, but you you got a wallet in there? No, why? Just idle curiosity about how you were going to pay me. Oh, I understand. Will this be enough? You kidding? It's good enough for anywhere on this planet. You want me to swing by a menswear store on the way to the restaurant? Yes, but must I wear trousers? Not on my account. He has wheels on his feet. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Follow that horse. All my life I've waited for a line like this. Hold on to your loincloth. It's going to get breezy in here. My name is Jane Porter. I'm 26 years old, single. Closest relationship I ever had lasted two months. I'm always the one who calls it off. I have a master's in computer science from NYU, and my thinks I'm wasting my life driving a cab. So, who in the world are you? I'm Tarzan of the Apes. You did tell me that, didn't you? My father's name was John. My mother's name was Alice, the Lord and Lady Greystoke. Lord and Lady Greystoke? That's royalty, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, but they had classy accents and called each other ship when they talked to them, right? Ship? You know your lordship, ladyship, that kind of stuff? I don't remember. Sorry. Come on. Here we go. Now. After the plane crash, the apes raised you? Well, mainly Kala. The hunters killed her and took my friend Cheetah. And uh, then you learned to speak ape? Also the languages of Numa the lion, Dango the hyena, and Duro, the hippopotamus. Why do I believe all this? Because I'm telling you the truth. I'm Tarzan of the apes. Mr. Tarzan, and what might we interest you? We accept all major credit cards as well as three of the more obscure ones. Why don't you show them your family jewels? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Forget the jewels. I got plastic.
Salesman was right. This is you. Not your brand, sir. Can anyone take those? Only people who dine here. Well, have you seen a chimpanzee in here? Fortunately not. Have a nice day. A chimpanzee? My friend, Cheetah. You never told me it was a chimpanzee. The matches I found in the Jeep belong to the same man who took Cheetah and killed my ape mother. Well, let me see those. It means nothing. Just look around. Everyone in New York must carry these matches. Hey, listen, listen. My old man was a cop. So I picked up a lot of highly sophisticated investigative techniques, like reading the inside cover of matchbooks. What do the numbers mean? It's a phone number. I dial it, we find something out. Simple. Let's go back to my place, we'll phone from there. Besides, you haven't stopped since you left the jungle. You must be bushed. Bushed? Tired, zonked, exhausted. You can crash in my place. Crash? It's in a palace, but uh, it's home sweet home. Mira. Yeah, bonita. I love you, baby. Shayna Purim. Shayna Tatala. When are you gonna be mine, eh? You didn't tell me you were going out with, uh, Hulk Hogan. Well, my name is Tarzan, of the Apes. <laughs> yeah? Well, I'm Juan Lipschitz. Confused product of the star-crossed marriage of two mismatched individuals. And these. These are my Apes. <laughs> <laughs> nice shirt. If I give the order, my dog Brutus will rip your guts out. Well, don't give the order. If. I just said if. Sheesh. He just made one very big fool out of Juan in front of his buddies. I don't think he's gonna like that. Still busy. Why did you stay in the jungle? It's my home. Well, what about your family back in England? Family? You know, people who could give you shelter, food to eat, the shoulders to cry on? Well, that's what the apes did. Wait a second. Right more foundation. One moment, please. You can forget about the number on your matches. Why? That number was the Brightmore Foundation. Cheetah must be there. I doubt it. It's the most famous philanthropic organization in the country. They do charitable stuff. You know, build hospitals, give money to, you know, I don't know, you know, places that need money, that kind of thing. Good guys. Understand? Yes. 
I'm sorry. It probably wasn't even a New York area code. Is there anything you haven't told me? Anything that could help? This is from the killer's cigar. Great, that narrows it down. Look, I'm gonna grab a quick shower and then we'll figure out a way to find Cheetah. I'm not very good at waiting, Jane. And get some rest. Couch isn't too lumpy. Now don't answer the phone because it'll do that all by itself. And don't get the door. Now remote for the TV and everything else. Remote? Get fresh. Who is he? What's he doing here? Uh, Tarzan, uh, meet my father, Archie Porter. Wait a minute. The name is Archimedes to you. And uh, this is Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. <laughs> Get him off the furniture, please. That's all you know about this current weirdo? He's not a current weirdo. Uh, I see. He's uh, just Tarzan of the Apes who escaped from a detention center and is looking for his lost chimp, Chiquita. Cheetah. Oh, I see. I, I never interfere in your personal life, do I? Since when? Yeah, but I'm telling you, this guy is a loser. Hey, come here for a minute. You got 24 hours to get out of town. That's it. Oh, wait, no, no, don't do that. You can't do that. Why can't I do that? I run a business, a security business. I could lose my license. Oh. This guy is a fugitive from justice and also a nutcase. I gotta oh. go. It was great call for you. Pleasure meeting you. Get out of my daughter's life and put on some clothes. Get rid of him and marry a doctor. I must go find my friend. Oh, no, 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 don't go out there tonight. It's a jungle. Look, first thing in the morning, we'll figure out something. I promise to help you, and I will. 
great perils have this beauty, that they bring to light the fraternity of strangers. Wow. That was so poetic. Oh, I read it in a book once by Victor Hugo. Les Miserables. Oh, yeah? Well, I knew that. Um, look, we, we'd better call it a night. You can, uh, you, you can sleep on the fold-out bed. Oh, I, I can't do that. I understand. I need to sleep outside on the platform of iron on the edge of your building. Whatever. That bat was autographed. Well, now you've got two. Give me your weapons. The rest are yours. You mean you're not gonna kill us? Tarzan only kills when he needs to. All right, you're gonna call the cops, right? Wrong, just get out of here. Consider us gone. Come on, Thank you. Don't you worry. You'll be safe. Petit girls. <sighs> Notice the big space in between the words? Just big enough for Anne, daughter. Well, why isn't it there? I can't be daddy's little girl all my life. It's too easy. Well, I learned in the jungle that sometimes the easy way is the best way, Jane. Well, this isn't the same jungle, Tarzan. See that, Matt? I wired that for him. Jane, that thing drives me nuts. I know. Hey, gentlemen, I gave you 24 hours to get out of town, didn't I? Oh, 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 Dad, wait a minute. You'd be reading about me today in the papers if it wasn't for Tarzan. What are you talking about? He saved my life. What? He, he fought off six, maybe seven guys. You're going to be kidding. <laughs> they had knives, Pop, and an attack dog. You know, I hate this city. I hate this office, and I hate you, jungle man. <laughs> but I appreciate what you've done for my daughter. It means a lot to me. It really does. Give me five. Five? Oh, please. you got to be kidding. All right, I tell you what. I'm going to show you my appreciation. I'm going to take you both out to lunch. My treat. Good? Great. Thanks, Harry. Nothing tastes as good as a hot dog, huh? You eat dogs in America? Um, that's it. Get him out of here. He's embarrassing me. I don't care if he did save your life. 
It's not a dog. They just call it a dog. It's actually a cow. Now that we've established the source of the cuisine, can we move along? I'll pay you on Saturday, Harry. Maybe. What's happening with Chiquita? Cheetah. All right, Cheetah. What's happening with Nothing. Cheetah? All we had were the matches, the cigar ban, and the phone number. It's a dead end. Why? Come on, Dad. The Bridemore Foundation? Come on, give me a break. If I'd learned anything as a cop, you're guilty until you're proven innocent. I mean, that's what makes that democracy work. Would you tell me I'm adopted? Please tell me I'm adopted. Well, in the jungle, if you see an animal's footprint and you smell the spore nearby, yeah. then the animal must be there. Yeah, well, no I'm matter what you think, even if it's not supposed to be. All right, well, there's a lot of spore in this city. You can be sure of that. So you think the Brightmore Foundation is involved? I think Archie is right. Archimedes. Archimedes is right. <laughs> you know, I'm getting to like Jungle Man here. He thinks the way I do. You know, I'll tell you something. When this is all over with, why don't you and I take in a ball game or something? All huh? this male bonding is very touching, but can we get back to the problem? All right. I mean, how do we check out the Brightmore Foundation? Easy. Brightmore, or BB as his friends call him, has got a beautiful little pad up to Hudson. I say we go up and sniff it up. By the time we get there, everyone will be asleep. I guess they have insomnia. <laughs> Why is that man dressed like a banana? Rich people can dress any way they want. It's a costume party. Classy, even the caterers are dressed up. Maybe if we had costumes, we could get in and look around. Bingo, we're purchasing costumes. Oh, my darling, what a lovely evening for a soiree. Oh, excuse me, sir. But uh, BB was a darling, but he forgot to send us the invitation. Muffy's going to be here, but Buffy isn't here. But I thought what we could possibly do was a simple thing like this. Let me give you this little gratuity, OK? And hopefully, uh, <laughs> take your clothes off. Robin Leach, eat your heart out, come on. Who's that man? That's Brightmore, Brightmore Foundation. <clears throat> I, I smell something. Don't look at me, I think you smell money. I think she knows how to work on the cover. If by some unfortunate circumstance you've come with someone, tell him goodbye. Actually, I live here. Nice. Modestly adequate. Later, I'll take you for a walk on the grounds. I have plants that I've collected from all over the world. It looks like uh, Jane is going to be tied up for a while. Why don't we look around? The 
Obrigado. You're the most sensuous now. So do you? At midnight, you're fireworks. Oh, I love fireworks. Signing an action before? <laughs> What's wrong? Afraid of heights? I was just remembering when I was little. People dressed up, dancing and music. In the jungle? Before the jungle. Smell them. You smell what? Animals? Smelled animals. Here's the alarm. Now give me a second. I can bypass it. You know, all that money I spent on our education was certainly worth it. Do you know what you're doing? Yes. An alarm is nothing but a closed system. And I can violate that as long as it doesn't know it's being violated. It has to feed the information to itself. I beg your pardon. What are you saying? I think she's saying that. I don't know what she's saying. That the machine is now talking to itself. I understand everything she told me about the violating. Everything. You ready? Yes. Are still locked. The door. Locked. The door. Yeah, now what are we, where, where, where are you going? You know, he's a little weird. Where's he going? What is. You know, I gotta admit, uh, this guy is a notch above your other boyfriends. Gross! Can't he just walk through a door like everybody else? Come on! Oh, I may be crazy, but I'm gonna use the drain pipe. I'm going to. You stay here. Before, we were just looking around. Now it's breaking and entering. And the idea is not to get caught. And the way we don't get caught is we have them look the other way. That's your job. You make them look the other way. We'll meet at the entrance at uh, 2300 Sharp. Take care. Inside this wall. But there's no door. Wait, wait. Let my fingers do the walking. Okay, 
Which way? I don't know. What do you mean? You can smell it from the house. It seems to be coming from everywhere. It's too strong. You go that way. Lohano? takes care of one hot limo. Now let's get a doctor. Are you kidding? We've broken into Brightmoors. We vandalize this place. We shoot a couple of guards. We steal his limo. And Muscle Man here is an illegal alien. All right, so what do we do? We take out the bullet. <laughs> Very smart. I think the knife is ready. I'll tell you when the knife is ready. Do you have any Hawaisha from the forest of the Scree to smear on the wound? We ran out, but I've got a little iodine, a little spit. I've taken out hundreds of bullets in my life, not to worry. Uh, ready?
그리고 어, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I touched the pearls. I, I just wanted to try them on. They were my mother's. All the pearls were on the ground after the crash. I put them back together again. They looked beautiful on you. Thank you. Chiquita. Good morning. Come here, join me. Sit down. Here, here's the machine. Enjoy yourself. Anything you want to watch. Go ahead. Some raisins. Hey, save me some. There. This, uh, this sure is cozy. Bizarre, but cozy. I deserve this. I taught her to cook. <laughs> Eat up, it's delicious. Hey, uh, jungle man, don't breathe too deep, you're gonna choke. Well, what have they done with the air here? Hey, uh, Chiquita, you'd like some eggs and bacon, huh? Come on, have some. You'll love it. But don't report me to the SPCA. I'm only kidding. <laughs> what a cute little guy. Look at him. Why would anybody want to lock him up? What did you see in the lab? I saw a dead chimp with the top of his head cut off and his brains removed. That's terrible. It was horrible. I have a feeling we're onto something. I don't know what, but I'm going to find out. Well, we've got Cheetah. That's what we were after. Archimedes is right. We must go back and save the other animals. Who said anything about going back? Well, if they cut off the top of one chimp's head, they'll do it to the others. I'm going. You can't. You're hurt. Look. We did enough damage. 
for them not to be able to mess with any other animals for a while. I got an idea. Do you know that skyscraper that belongs to Brightmoor downtown? Yeah. I have a feeling there may be some interesting papers there. That's where I'm going. Well, how can I help? Put your clothes on. Pick up your pot. Here's the footage right here. Stop. Zoom in. Tighter. Tighter. Give me a close up. We got it. Can a hora, que linda. Hey, Tarzan. Relative of yours? <laughs> I forgot to tell Brutus that uh, we had a truce. Well, now he knows. You gotta teach me that. And just think like the animal. Be with it in mind and spirit, and then don't command. Just desire. Make friends with him. Talk to him in dog language. Get serious, Tarzan. Found a building with a jungle inside. <laughs> it's called a florist shop. They're beautiful. Oh, it shouldn't have. Lunch. I have something for you, too. Cheetah and I went to a secondhand bookstore on the way home. Greystoke. The hereditary title of the Clayton line going back to the 13th century and the reign of Henry III. And there's a picture. I think it's time he had an accident. And make it creative.
sorry, no one's allowed past My here. father, he's up there. Here, take him. Hey, come back here! Mr. Jane, would it promise me? I promise. <laughs> and another thing. You'll be fine, Archimedes. <laughs> Keep your clothes on. You're gonna be all right. It's too early for any definite prognosis, Miss Porter. Your father has sustained a severe head injury. Is he going to die? Oh, I'm sorry, but in cases where coma is involved, the outcome is impossible to predict. If I were you, Miss Porter, I'd get some rest.
York at 6 a.m. Time for the news. Hey, remember that uh, bulletin about a guy in a wine cloth? Yeah. Think that might be him? Bad boy, Tito. Come here. Come on, get down. What's this? Brightmore. Good work, Tito. Freeze! <laughs> well, that seems to be a very popular expression in your city. That means you too. That's a chimp, Henderson. I read National Geographic. They taught him over a hundred signs. Well, chimps know more than signs. They speak their own language. Oh, yeah? What? Hungarian? Well, if I said, oh, 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 he'd understand me. Sure. What's your name, buddy? Well, my name's Tarzan of the Apes. Formerly John Clayton III, son of Lord and Lady Greystoke. Yeah, and I'm Han Solo, and this is my sidekick, Chewbacca. <laughs> left the window open again, Henderson. Well, you left the keys inside. So why? Uh, chips can't drive. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your old man. Who is he? He hasn't regained consciousness. If there's anything we can do. Hey, Holmes, who taught you how to drive, man? Cheetah. <laughs> Nice cruiser. Hey, what bucket for you? Come on. Come on. Pap just told me to go home. He said there's nothing more I can do. I feel so helpless. Well, I know that feeling. It's a feeling I had when I was left alone in the jungle. So how did you make it go away? Time passed. I grew stronger. So will you. Does that ever stop hurting? No. Cheetah found this in your father's car. What is it? It's film. Well, what do we do with it? Get it developed. Now. <laughs> Look at this. Brightmore's been smuggling in apes for almost a year. Here's an invoice from Ventnor Laboratories for two incubators, a thousand grams of nutrient agar, and an electrophotometer, all delivered to Brightmore's house. And this is a bill for a computerized tomographic scanner? One million nine hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars, wholesale. I don't understand. He spent almost two million bucks on a CT scanner. What's that? They're called CAT scans. They're for x-raying cross-sections of the brain. That's what he's doing to the animals. Something terrible with their brains. Yeah, look at this. 200 apes are being shipped to him on the 15th. That's tomorrow. He's going to cut their heads open. I've got to go there tonight and stop all this. No, you could get killed. Jane, I found a cigar stub in your father's office. Just like the one I found in Africa when Kala was killed and Cheetah was kidnapped. The man who threw it away works for Brightmoor. I'm going with you. It's too dangerous. I'm doing it for my dad. I owe him. In all my life, I never once said, I love you, Daddy. He knows. I'm going to get bright more. No. I promised your father that I'd take care of you. Take care of me. Don't you respect me enough to know that I can take damn good care of myself?
Tell Prince Charming that Cinderella has come for her slipper. That'll be all for now, Guido. Very well, sir. Good help is such a treasure. Did you enjoy your meal? It was delicious. Why don't we uh, take in some videos and sip our drinks? Before I forget, this is yours. Aren't you, you gonna ask me to try it on? That's only necessary when the prince doesn't know the identity of Cinderella. I happen to know yours, Jane Porter. How? There'll be plenty of time for questions later. Let's watch some videos. I've been a hunter for a long time. Long enough to become quite bored. What, have you run out of animals to hunt? Until tonight, there are two immutable rules to hunting. One is if you wish to capture the lion, never enter the lion's den. So what's two? My favorite. Watch the screen. Number two, if you want to capture a wild animal, know what bait to use to lure him near. With you, my dear Jane, I believe I've found the perfect bait. Let's go prepare a greeting for your friend. Archimedes Porter. Why did you do it? Because he saw too much. Now there's only one thing left to do. Hey! Nice entrance. But you just broke rule number one. If you hurt Jane. Threats. Isn't that a little silly? I trained them myself. Perhaps I could show you around. It's not every day we get such an interesting guest. Excuse us, Jane. Man talk. Do you know what I do, Tarzan? You kill animals. That's my hobby. My work is buying mines. You'd be amazed how many bioengineers are available for the right price. And the animals? Why do you need them? It would be impossible for anyone like you to understand the scientific concept behind all this. Perhaps if I explained in very simple terms. <coughs> the, uh, the air must be dry in here. <laughs> what would happen 
I took the ground up brains of one primate and fed them to another primate. The other primate gets sick. <laughs> Jungle wit. Quaint, I love it. The primate that's fed the brains or what we distill from it would take on the smarts of the other chimps. And that's why you need the expensive machines, the long names, for your experiments. You never fail to amaze me, ape man. Of course, you do understand my predicament. There aren't any bleeding hearts that would allow me to cut the top off a chimp's head and grind up his brains without causing quite a fuss. Is there? We've refined the process. The process with a little protein manipulation and gene splicing does work. And it's going to be worth millions. In fact, billions. Why think small? All virtually tax-free. And if the process works for chimps, it should work for people, too. Wealthy people. In order to do that, we'd have to enter a whole new phase of research, which would mean curing live human brain cells. Just think what the bleeding hearts would say about that. You would have to kill people. <laughs> exactly. So, imagine my delight when I discovered that you and Cinderella were after me. You both will have the honor of being the first of many, shall we say, volunteers. works. Do what he says. Jane, unlock the cages. Man one. Right more nothing. Hey boss, get me down. 
Chopper, this is Brightmore. Do you read me? Chopper, come in. Chopper to Brightmore, affirmative. I lost their tracks. Locate them. Well, when you find them, just put a light on them. I want that long-haired primate for myself. Roger. Let's get out of here. They told me the animals will be returned to the jungle. Good. It's where they belong. I do too. Are you sure? There's less fighting in the jungle. Things are at peace. That's not what I asked you. Let's go see your father. Oh. 
Why do we fight all the time? It was all my fault. It was all my fault. Okay, no more tears. Don't get the sheets wet. They need it for the next patient. Archimedes. Cousin. Dad? Chiquita. Hi. Oh, Dad, I thought you were dead. No, 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 no. I thought I was dead too, but even in hell they don't have addicts like this. I love you. I do. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, it's okay. I need it. I need it. Thanks for the ride. Yeah, no problem, hombre. Send us a postcard from Africa. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a little dated, but you're getting there, eh? the animals well they had to fly cargo more of your strange rules and Joseph is meeting them at home Tita's got her tickets well see you around I have something for you Jane Earth have a move while you were swinging on your vines back home? <laughs> Not like that. Hey. Uh, what does a guy have to do to get lunch around here? Dad, I'm not your servant. I told you after I finished the sign, I'd get you lunch. <laughs> Remember when I was dead? How sweet you were to me, how kind, how considerate, huh? How come everything is now my fault? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I just can't do everything by myself. We're backed up on four cases. I've been blow-drying the files all night. The office is in total chaos. Maybe I could help clean up. No, you'll miss your plane. Not so fast. Uh, jungle Man, I could put a help wanted ad in the post. Or you could stick around for a while. I'll give you minimum wage and all the peanuts Chiquita can eat. All right, I'll stay. The name is Cheetah. Ha <laughs> ha. 